Welcome to this new Football Manager 2018 experiment where I have cloned Pep Guardiola using the FM18 editor. So there's now 20 Peps in the world and each English Premier League club has a Pep Guardiola in charge. This of course is just a little bit of fun so don't take it too seriously. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just curious to see how the game copes with 20 of the same manager in charge of each of the Premier League clubs. Of course, we've got the real Pep Guardiola, the original Pep Guardiola, still in charge of Manchester City. And if I just scroll down, you can see I've numbered all of the Guardiolas so we can find it a little bit easier to track their careers. I'm going to holiday a long way into the future. Some of these Guardiolas might move between Premier League clubs. They might move abroad. They might become managers of national teams. They might retire because there's too much competition. We've got 20 world-class managers. Um, I'm interested to see if he if he will play the same style of tactic and style of play, sign sit, those types of players that he likes, regardless of what team he's at. So will he play the same style of play at Watford, Burnley, Man City? Like, will it all be very similar, or will we see a bit of variety between the Guardiolas? We shall find out. In this part one, I'm going to holiday one season into the future and just have a look to see what happens in that first season and there's going to be a few parts after this Royal holiday further down the line but as you can see all of these clubs have Guardiola in charge and there's an old face popping up from one of my old experiments <laughs> that's quite funny actually but yeah that's all the all the Guardiolas for you okay so I've holidayed one season before we have a look at the Premier League I want in the comment section below you to let me know which Pep Guardiola will be sacked last or leave their club last? Will there be a particular Guardiola that survives at his team for the, for a longer period than anyone else? Also maybe predict who you think would be the most successful Guardiola on this. It could quite simply be the Guardiola at Manchester United because Man United just seem to dominate every single save on FM18. That's what I find anyway. We might see the same in this experiment as well. But let me know in the comment section below. Please hit that like button as well if you want more parts. That'd be very much appreciated. So let's have a look at the English Premier League then. As you can see, Manchester United champions, that's no surprise on FM18, I must say. But a big surprise, Man City with the real Pep Guardiola finishing fifth. Four points behind fourth place Liverpool. Arsenal finishing above Liverpool with Chelsea in second. Man United running away with it. Firmino was top goal scorer this season. Hazard bet the best performer and De Bruyne 14 assists. No surprises there really. Relegated Huddersfield, West Ham and Crystal Palace. So did they decide to hang on to their Guardiolas? Well, perhaps they were sacked halfway through the season. But we've got to start with, I think, the original Pep. <laughs> this is incredible. The original Pep has left Manchester City and re been replaced by Jose Mourinho. You, you just can't write it. Can you? That's amazing. Guardiola actually left at the end of the season. So he was sacked once he'd finished fifth with Man City. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if he gets another job because there's so many Guardiolas around, uh, it's it's not exactly hard to, to come across one. Um, by the way, I set all of the Guardiolas to have a three-year contract until 2020. But yeah, Mourinho is now in charge of Man City. That's just brilliant, isn't it? Whereas Guardiola number three in charge of Manchester United led them to glory and he signed only one player from Feyenoord, loaned out a load of players, but they completely dominated looking at this. But they did lose 5-0 against the original Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. That is fascinating. I can't, can I look at it? Yes, I can. So Herrera was sent off to, after nine minutes. So that helped their cause. But the original Guardiola was much more successful against the Manchester United Guardiola in this match anyway. But overall, he failed, didn't he, against the other Guardiolas, which is pretty fascinating stuff. You can see Man United beat Chelsea in the Carabao Cup quarter final. They went through to the final where they beat Spurs. So they've certainly won two trophies this year at least. Uh, Champions League-wise, they seem to be going strong. They beat Besiktas in the first knockout round. They won in the quarterfinal against Atletico Madrid. They beat Real Madrid in the semi-final on away goals. And then they won the final against Chelsea. So two Guardiolas facing off against each other in the Champions League final. And Man United came out on top. So that's the treble for Guardiola number three at Manchester United. Chelsea have, I think, Guardiola number two with the weird face. 
I've done it on reputation in regards to the FM18 editor. It was just listed by Premier League club reputation. I just went down and numbered all the Guardiolas accordingly. Um, but yeah, that is a quite magnificent season from Manchester United in that in this first season. Lukaku, top goal scorer, 24 goals. Sanchez got 21. Rashford, Pogba, Marcia also scored plenty of goals. Most creative players won Mata. Then Matic with 12 assists and Lingard as well. So yeah, brilliant stuff from them. Winning the treble. Let's just have a quick look at some of the other teams. In fact, I just want to have a look at the tactics that he deployed. So this is the formation that he played. And compare that with Manchester City. Who, the same formation. So perhaps it is basically going to be the same formation at every single club. Yeah, because Guardiola will favour a certain formation. So they're all coming up against each other. And you could argue that they would cancel each other out. But of course, some teams have better players than others. So Chelsea did finish a good second place. So Chelsea had a pretty good season. They got to a Champions League final. But I don't think, yeah, they didn't win a trophy. FA Cup was won by Arsenal for the second season in a row, beating Leicester in the final. So that's another two Guardiolas coming up against each other, of course. In fact, I will have a look quickly at the manager movements to see if anyone was sacked. So West Ham got rid of Pep Guardiola on the 12th of February 2018 as a result of poor results. And he hasn't managed to get a new job. They've brought in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, of all people. But it wasn't enough. West Ham were relegated. So I'm guessing just him and the original Pep have been sacked so far. But let's have a quick look at Crystal Palace. Guardiola 15 still in charge of Palace despite getting relegated. He was playing the same formation as well, as you can see there. Didn't sign any players to help keep them up. And he just wasn't able to get Crystal Palace going, finishing bottom quite easily. Huddersfield Town also relegated. Uh, that's kind of to be expected. He's, he's done okay, really, to almost keep Huddersfield up. But it just wasn't quite good enough once again, no players signed. Playing the same formation, as you can see there. He just he hasn't adapted himself to different teams. He's just played what he knows. Stoke City still have Guardiola in charge as well. So I think it's there's only been two casualties so far in this experiment. The original Pep and the West Ham Pep have been set. He actually spent thirty million pounds at Stoke City, and he only just kept them up. Swansea finished sixteenth, as you can see there. They spent not very much money at all. But remember the first season, yeah, they are unlikely to spend money because they'd, they'd have already spent money previously in real life. This is on the winter transfer update, by the way, just for those of you wondering. Spent a bit of money at Watford, but he did sell a lot of players. Capoue went to Southampton for 90. It's funny because he's selling players to himself here. This is Bournemouth under Guardiola number 17. That spent £6.5 million in his first season. Is there, there's no the the biggest surprise I think he spent quite a lot of money at uh, Newcastle twenty million pounds. The biggest surprise I think is Pep Guardiola failing the original Pep Guardiola failing with Man City finishing fifth. That's the only real shock here. At Southampton he spent fifty eight million pounds. Kupu a massive signing. Florin Adon as well from Corona. Sergi from Barcelona coming in. Robert Gummy, great name. Or oh, Gumney, sorry. Seven points. Oh, he's just spent a huge amount of money at Southampton for some reason. He did okay finishing 12th. West Brom up in 11th, which is not bad going at all. Spent £9 million, sold £5.75 million worth of players. Chris Brunt went to West Ham. And Burnley finishing 10th, which is pretty good as well. They're probably going to finish top 10 in real life. Leicester City up in 9th. He spent £34.5 million. Pounds. That's a lot of money. Dragovic coming from Leverkusen for 18.25. And Everton. Wow, I've just noticed Brighton finishing seven. I think that's the biggest shock, actually. He's managed to get really the best out of Brighton, if not better out of Brighton. Spent a little bit of money at Everton. But Brighton finishing seventh. I, had, I just noticed that. He spent £8.75 million, pounds, but sold £20.5 million pounds worth of players. Sold three, four players in, in January and still managed to finish seventh with Brighton. That is phenomenal stuff. He said, so, uh, signed Sam Byron from West Ham for two million and Jossely from Granada for 3.5 million. And that is brilliant. What an achievement. And lastly, Spurs. We haven't looked at Spurs. Oh, we haven't looked at Arsenal or Liverpool either. Uh, but at Spurs, he, he signed William Carvalho for 16.25 million pounds, rising to 23. But that's it. Sixth place, Europa League. Oh, Champions League. They must have won the Europa League. 
to qualify. Let's just have a quick look. Look down. Yeah, they did. They beat Benfica in the final 1-0. So Guardiola, <laughs> in this season, if you include all his clones, he's won the, the Champions League, the Premier League, the FA Cup, the, the Europa League. The, the Carabao Cup, of course, everything. What an achievement for the, for the guy. Lastly, no, two more to go. Liverpool and Arsenal. Liverpool, £97 million he spent. Zivkovic came in for £53 million. Ricardo Pereira for 26.5. He went mad there. And lastly, Arsenal, pretty good third place, I must say. Spent 80 million. You can see uh, Gian Giovanni Dos Santos coming in, Danilo Pereira from Porto, Brahimi from Porto, then Donka from Andelect, and Vuksevic from Braga. Wow, lots of money spent in Arsenal. But it did the job. They managed to finish third. So that's the first season of this Pep Guardiola cloned experiment. I hope you're looking forward to more episodes. Please hit that like button if you are. We're going to holiday quite far into the future. Oh, by the way, uh, let's have a quick look at player of the season, if we can. Footballer of the year was Hazard. Manager of the year, <laughs> Guardiola 3, of course. Guardiola picks up manager of the year. And the top goal scoring now was Firmino. Keep your eye out for part two of this experiment. Until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.